Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 46-year-old female who plays tennis. She felt a pop recently and had pain in her calf. And she has a case of what we call tennis leg. And when patients who play tennis or do other activities where they have to jerk forward using their calf muscles, they can have injuries of their calf muscles. And we call it tennis leg. And so this patient has edema and hemorrhage overlying the medial gastrocnemius muscle. This is the medial gastroc muscle here. And we can see distally, things look pretty clean. This is the uh, deep fibers, the deep surface here. And underneath that is the soleus. But this is the gastrocnemius muscle. And you can see the superficial fibers, the um, covering here is irregular, sort of ill-defined. There's brightness along it. So this is a strain or partial tear involving the superficial fibers and capsule of that muscle, and a little bit of edema or hemorrhage associated with that. Most oftentimes we see this tennis leg, they have a tear of their medial gastrocnemius right over here where it blends with the soleus to form the Achilles tendon, this dark band. Usually it's right here and usually it's peeled up. This patient just has her injury a little bit more proximal. And it's still the same thing, just an injury of the calf muscles. Usually these will heal up with time and we call this tennis leg. This is a view in short axis where we can see the tibia here, fibula here. We see this medial margin here ill-defined instead of being nice and clean and sharp. It's poorly defined and irregular and a little bit of edema or hemorrhage over the top. And that's it. So a partial tear or strain of the medial gastroc, which we call tennis leg. And this is related to injuries like tennis where people make quick to breath movements where they contract their calf muscles. And that's it. Thank you so much.